Hey, it's Lexi Close with Build It Up East Tennessee, and I'm going to talk about planting potatoes. So spring is the right time to plant potatoes. Um, the kind of old folksy um, wisdom is that you plant them around Easter, which is where we are right now uh, at the beginning of April. So um, you want to make sure that your potatoes uh, don't have too many blemishes on them and they look and they feel pretty solid. Uh, the, you want to um, you can plant the smaller ones just straight into the ground, uh, but with these larger ones that have lots of different eyes on them, you can see this one has a bunch of different eyes on it. Um, you can actually cut this up and create multiple plants out of this one larger tuber. So you should be able to get nine or 10 plants out of a pound of potatoes. And to do that, you are gonna have to cut the larger uh, potatoes up. And you want to get two or three eyes on each segment. So you're just going to have to look at each potato and, and really kind of evaluate where you're going to cut to make sure that uh, you have enough eyes on it. And the eyes tend to concentrate around one end or the other of the potato. So you just really just kind of have to evaluate. It's okay if they sprout, um, just be careful of these because that's actually the, the potato plant that's growing. So um, if you do get them sprouted, when you do go to plant them, you know, just make sure the, the sprouts stay intact. So I've got one that's already cut up and you can see it's got, uh, you know, three eyes at least on each segment. And um, it's pretty moist because it's freshly cut. You want to let this dry for a couple days uh, until it kind of gets um, a, kind of an ashy sort of texture to it. Um, the moisture, if you plant them, you can plant them fresh uh, like this, but any kind of time you're getting moisture on a seed or a potato, you're inviting opportunities for bacteria or fungi to rot the tuber. So um, by letting it dry out a little bit over a couple days, it creates kind of a seal over it. And that way, when you plant it, it's a little more protected in the soil. So potatoes should go about four to six inches deep. So they're relatively deep, um, but you don't need to go too much for, deeper than that. Um, and then I like to put uh, a lot of straw mulch over where the potatoes are planted, probably four or six inches of straw mulch over them. I don't think you necessarily need to hill potatoes. Um, a lot of people get really into hilling and they spend a lot of time and effort and energy on hilling up their potatoes, but it doesn't actually produce more potatoes. Um, it just, the, the hilling is to protect the, the tubers from sun. Um, because they, potatoes will react with sunlight to create this kind of green layer around them and that actually is slightly toxic. So you do want to prevent uh, sun damage to potatoes and that's where the straw comes in. It can help uh, keep the sun off the soil and off your potatoes, but you don't need to go, I'm, I'm going to save you a lot of effort here, you don't actually need to spend a lot of time hilling your potatoes because it doesn't increase the yield. So that's the basics of potatoes. They're really easy. Um, they're a great crop. You plant them in the spring, you harvest them in mid to late summer, depending on the variety. Generally, you can tell when it's time to harvest a potato is because the plants themselves will die back. You wanna wait another week or two after the foliage dies back, and then you can dig up the tubers. And most potatoes are pretty good for storage for three or four months if you keep them in a cool, uh, dry, you know, basement location. So they're a great crop. Uh, give them a try.